Hey guys, so as you can see here, I'm doing a little thing I like to call the 1.5 hands challenge. Basically, you solve your first step using two hands, then your next step with one hand, and then your next with two hands, and you alternate like that throughout the entire solve. Now for me, since I'm using ZZ, that means I'm doing my EO line with two hands, then I'm doing the first pair or block with one hand, the second pair or block with two hands, the third pair or block with one hand, the fourth pair or block with two hands, then OLL with one hand, or sometimes a COLL, actually, usually a COLL, and then PLL or EPLL, as it more often is, with two hands. Now on a few of these solves, I was able to recognize the ZBLL, so there was no PLL for me to do. But that still counts, still part of the method. This sort of 1.5 idea for a challenge gave me some ideas for others, too, that I might do in the future. Such as, like, half hand, half foot, 1.5 feet challenge, 1.5 eye challenge, or I guess, I guess it would just be the three eye challenge, where basically you memorize how to solve half of your cube and then you speed solve the rest of the cube with your eyes open. I think that could be interesting, and I might do that next time just to see how it turns out. If you guys do this challenge, let me know how it works out for you. Let me know your times on your 1.5 hands challenge, and your times when you're using um, two hands like normal, or even one hand. I would expect that for most people, their 1.5 hands time would be better than their one-handed time, just because most people are significantly better two-handed than one-handed. But for me, the awkwardness in switching hands mid-solve actually made me a lot slower on this than my one-handed or two-handed averages. So anyway, let me know what you think of this challenge and if I should do more challenges like this in the future. Also, if you have any other suggestions for challenges, I'd like to see those. Challenge suggestions do not have to be Rubik's Cube related, although if it is, there's still a good chance I might do it. Other than that, thanks for watching. Remember to comment your times on this challenge in the comments below, and I'll see you on Monday.